imagine sitting here, reading a comic, thinking you were alone when you weren't. Imagine hearing a scream, a cry for help. Imagine a hand. <laughs> Oh, hold my aching sides, Spindle Shanks. I call this tale Bog Man. Helen, where are you? I'm on the loo. Well, come downstairs now and help with the washing up. Helen was a bit of a shirker. Every day, her mother would ask her to help clear the table, and every day she said, I'd love to, but I just have to go to the loo first. Why is it, said her mother, that whenever there's work to be done in this house, you always have to go to the loo. If I didn't go, I might have an accident. If you go again, you will have an accident. I'll see to it personally, shouted her brother Damien. I have to do everything around here. Ooh, who rattled his cage? Helen, in future, you will stay in the kitchen until the washing up is finished. Because if you don't, if I don't, what? If you don't, then, then as sure as night turns to day, the Bogman will get you. The tap gurgled and spat out a tiny drop of black slime. Did she say Bogman? Bogman, Bogman, Bogman. Mm, I rather like the sound of that. <laughs> That night, Helen's father was cooking supper. Who's Bogman? She said. Oh, yes. Uh, I think I read about that somewhere. Ow! Oh, now look what you made me do. It wasn't me. You keep rattling that cutlery drawer. I'm not rattling anything. But he was sure he'd heard something. It sounded like chopsticks clattering in a spin dryer. <laughs> Go on, then, she said. Tell me a man. Yes. Well, six months ago, some sewage workers dug up a skeleton. A live one? Sometimes, Helen, I think God forgot to include batteries with your brain. No, not a live one, a dead one. They think it was the skeleton of some poor chap who was killed in the Stone Age. So how come the bones were still there then? Well, there's a peat bog under these houses. It preserved him in almost perfect condition. So why did Mum tell me that if I spend too much time on the loo, the bog man will get me? Because they say this skeleton's wandering the sewers, searching for the men who drowned him in the bog. Has he found them? Of course not. They died 2,000 years ago. So why might he attack me? Because it's just a story, Helen. And you spend too much time in the lavatory when you should be helping your mother. Oh, I've done it again now. After the meal, 
Helen looked at the draining board. Just got to go to the loo, she cried. But what about the washing up? Do it when I get back. Helen lied, locking the loo door behind her. Ten comics later, Helen heard a strange rattling noise coming from downstairs. Dishes, she thought. Just dishes. Then she heard it again. Only this time it was closer. And it wasn't downstairs. It was coming from inside the loo. It looked normal enough. Just like loos always looked. Wet, white and boring. <gasps> there was that noise again. Suddenly, it went dark. She felt rain on her cheek. And a foul smell of rotting wood filled her nostrils. What do you want? She shouted. And the voice replied, I want my revenge. Ugh. Look. From the depths of the U-Bend came a fearsome cry that turned Helen to stone. I'll do the washing up, she cried, hoping to appease the demon that was coming to get her. <laughs> what is it? I don't know. It looks like Pete. Helen, Helen's upstairs by herself. But, of course, Helen was not by herself. You're a bog man! I heard your mother say that I would come. You must know who killed me. No, I don't know anything. And she didn't think you were real. She just wanted me to do the washing up. But your father knows where my killers are buried. From the paper. He just read a paper, that's all. They will tell me their secrets once you are my prisoner. Stop! Where are my killers? Roared Bogman, dropping Helen and reaching for her mother. Run! shouted Helen. He'll kill you! But her mother couldn't move. It was Damien who rolled up the comic and threw it into his father's hand. But when he brought it crashing down on Bogman's skull, it wasn't a rolled-up comic at all. It was a spear. A Stone Age spear. As the thunderclouds rolled away, Bogman floated to the ground as dust and sank slowly into the peat bog, just as he had 2,000 years before. The house was in an awful mess. It took the family three weeks to clear it up. For once, Helen did not have to be asked to help. In fact, it won't surprise you to know, she shoveled more peeps than anyone else. <laughs> <laughs> In case you're wondering, Spindle Shanks always helps with the washing up. I find his hairy back especially useful. <coughs> oh, do stop moaning, Spindle Shanks. You love it. And after this, you're scrubbing the loo. <laughs> 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 <laughs>